Hey guys, um, it's Connor here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Minecraft thumbnails. So, what you want to do is, um, what Windows are, app data percent, Minecraft screenshots. This will take you to your screenshots folder. Um, these are from a while ago, but if I scroll down, far enough at least, I will find some photos that I've taken. So, I am going to use this one looks pretty decent and so we have our thumbnail here um and so this was taken in game this was just for a demonstration um and so we're in paint.net so now what we we have is our background layer which is this um and we have like our dude here um so we're gonna add a layer and then this is an important part. Change the brush, and so we go into a shape tool thing. About I don't know what it is. It's just a shape. Um, and we go to rectangle. Make sure our color is white, and then change the brush width to thirty. And make sure you're on your second layer, okay? And so once you've done that, you can make the outside of the um, you can make a border, um, this isn't actually what it's going to look like, um, this is just for, like, a base step in this process, so track this all the way up into the corner, make sure it fits perfectly, I highly doubt that does, yeah, and there, now, if I check, it should be all fully done. Um, and so now what we're going to do is just deselect, take our magic wand tool, zoom in, and click on this. This will select the white border. Now here's an important step. We have to go back to the background, effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. And so this is just going to blur out the white. Um, we have to set this to 50. I think the default's 2. So now we've blurred that, and then we deselect, back up to layer 2, effects, you're going to need a plugin for this, object, um, and see how these are all plugins, this one, so some of these are bolt bait, um, these are Chris Vanderbilt, we go to drop shadow, and what this is going to do is it's going to add a shadow to the border, um, so we can change this, these settings. This is what your shift setting should look like. Press OK. Then we repeat. And now we select the outside, hold Control and press X, and then we have a nice border. So now I, so now I have my border and it looks very clean. Um, and so now we're going to add the text and a few things. So I'm planning on making a video about my new Raw Cat Cone Pure Ultra. So I think this thumbnail should include something about that. So if I go and uh, open, um, downloads, Raw Cat, open. And so see, now we have a Raw Cat image and this image open. What we're going to do is take magic select. Select the outside of this, hold Control X, then unselect, Control A to select it all, Control C to copy it, and then Control V to paste it. And when it has this, if you're inserting an image, click Keep Canvas Size so that nothing is like incredibly big. Um, and so we now can move our mouse around but it's a lot bigger than we need it to be. So if you hold shift and click on this corner, it will keep its size without stretching it. So we'll turn this down. Then we can rotate it a bit, make it a bit smaller. And there, that is our um, mouse part. Now we're gonna add some text. So what we're gonna need to do is go into text um and so actually before we go into text color picker 
Um, in normal, I'll either use white with a black outline, or I'll use two colors from like the armor and wall. So I'll do right click to pick this color. Don't put it. I gotta go back to background. Right click to pick this. Uh, I'll pick. Let's use that blue. And um, we can use like a not faded, but like not darker. So. This looks like a good blue. Maybe make it a bit lighter. Looks like a good blue. Um, then secondary color. We can use lighter blue. Select lighter blue. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll lay down my text. And for a font, don't use any of the ones paint up that gives you. They aren't incredibly good. Instead, you should download some from Defont. Dot com, I think it's what it is. I'll put the link in the description as long as, as well as the plugins that I use. Um, and so I have the Minecraft font, font Pusab, Charming, and Keep on Trucking. Um, I'm going to use Minecraft just for the sake of this video. Um, probably my, just normal Minecraft. Font size 216. Should be good, or if it's too big, you can always just change it. We're gonna title this Bed Wars with the Home Here Ultra And so I, th I don't really like how it's looking, so I'm gonna change it to white. Which also doesn't look incredible, so I'll change the blue. I'll make it a bit more bluish. Which one's primary? Turn this up a bit. So now we have um, our text, but it doesn't look great because it's just not <laughs> looking great. So now we do magic select. Then we're and change it down if it selects too much. The tolerance down. I was holding control. That's my bad. And now we just highlight all of this. selecting all of these takes quite a bit of time but it's going to be worth it when we outline and almost there all right so this is looking okay so now selection outline Change the outline to black, then change the width to about. I, I do two or two. There we go. And so now we can see the text. We can see we have the Cone Pure Ultra, and we have a thumbnail. But I think it's looking a bit meh. So now we're gonna go to Hue and Saturation. Turn the saturation just up a bit so that it looks a bit more colorful. Hue, don't change that or also make it look ridiculous as you can see it's doing. So just keep it around here. I like going for negative two because it gives it a little red hint. Um, And yeah, this should do your thumbnail pretty well. If you had any trouble with any of the steps, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, so let's save image. Let's go save it to desktop, I bet. Save it as PNG, make sure of that, and name whatever you want. 
Let's do an example. Come on now. And there we go. It's now saved to our desktop. Okay. And if it does this, uh, don't worry. Just say flatten. That's okay. If that saves. Um. Now if I check my desktop. We can open up our example thumbnail, and everything's in one layer. So yeah, guys, that's about all I have for the thumbnail. More tutorials with Paint.net coming soon. Bye, guys.